It's been a long journey to end the practice of doctors sterilizing Indigenous women against their will. A journey that led victims and advocates to the Senate last week, where a private member's bill passed third reading. A Senate report detailed what it calls horrific accounts of between 12 and 15,000 women, mostly Indigenous, being sterilized in the past 50 years. In some cases, going in for C-sections and finding out later doctors severed their fallopian tubes or removed reproductive organs without consent. Something Nicole Rabbit and her late mother Mary both endured. Someone has to be accountable for the act of genocide that we Indigenous people have faced and continue to face in regards to forced and coerced sterilization. Our human rights continue to be violated to this day. A violation that could soon be a crime. This is ultimate violence. When you remove someone's opportunity to give life, I don't know how you can be more violent. This bill is going to prevent this from ever happening again. This is one step further toward ensuring that safety and that body autonomy for Indigenous young people is there. It's a criminal act. In other countries, it's seen as a crime against humanity to forcefully or coercively sterilize any human being to the point where they can't reproduce. And so in Canada in 2024, it's important that the law recognizes the actual harm this causes an individual. Senator Yvonne Boyer championed the bill, which now goes to the House of Commons, where supporters hope for swift passage ahead of the next election. These women are committed to making sure not one more sister, mother, auntie or daughter is subjected to forced or coerced sterilization. Meanwhile, class action lawsuits continue in several provinces and territories where victims are seeking compensation for these violations. Melissa Ridgen, Global News, Winnipeg.